Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, April, May, June, 2020 edition. Today is Wednesday, June 10th. Our reading comes from Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars, and Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare, and in his temple all say, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Happy June 10th. I like thunderstorms, especially when I have adequate shelter. I've experienced thunderstorms from inside a house, from a front porch, from inside a tent while camping and while driving. I'm always amazed by the sound of thunder and the brilliance of lightning. I'm astonished by their power. David speaks of 